decade on Capitol Hill, Brooklyn bred attorney Hakeem Jeffries, making history as House Democrats selected him as the first black American to lead a party in Congress. Stand on the shoulders of people like Shirley Chisholm and so many others as we work to advance the ball for everyday Americans and get stuff done. Because that's what Democrats do. At 52, Jeffrey's ascension marks a generational change from 82-year-old outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. We're going to work hard to... Jeffries became Democratic Caucus Chair in 2019 and has long been known for his advocacy around affordable housing and criminal justice reform, working across the aisle in 2019 to get the First Step Act passed. We look forward to finding opportunities to partner with the other side of the aisle and work with them whenever possible, but we will also push back against extremism whenever necessary. But it was his role as an impeachment manager during former President Donald Trump's first impeachment trial that was among Jeffrey's most high profile posts, highlighting his background as a lawyer and his penchant for weaving in the legacy of hip hop. That is why we are here, Mr. Seculo. And if you don't know, now you know. One of my constituents said, aren't you the congressman that shouted out Biggie Smalls on the House floor two years ago? I said, yeah, that was me. He said, and now I hear that you're the number five Democrat in the House of Representatives? How did that happen? I'm the only way that I could respond by quoting the Biggie Smalls lyric, which is, you never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Uh, and so I, I think that Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z, in many ways, you know, capture sort of the aspirational aspect of the American dream. A former longtime staffer suggests Jeffries will pose a formidable challenge to Republicans. He has a mind like a computer. He's absolutely brilliant. And so he remembers every single detail of everything. For all of his speeches, we never write his speeches out. We pull together the substance and he could just go and speak for 45 minutes. And argues he's the right man for this moment. In 2015, I said to him, I said, you're going to be the next speaker of the house because the reality of our party is that we had this old faction uh, that was destined to leave at some point and Hakeem was the guy that could best articulate what we stood for and we now live in an era where that matters more than most other things can't stop can't. but jeffries will have to contend with the left wing of the party who view him as part of the establishment and he's poised to take the mantle with a democratic minority as the great philosopher grace jones said I may not be perfect, but I'm perfect for you. So for those who claim he's not progressive enough, there are far less progressive people who could stand in his stead and try to occupy his space. He's as progressive a figure as is capable of securing the broad base of the Democratic Party in order to represent them. 